Now let's create an analyst model ourselves. I'm closing down this model and I'm creating a new model with the name Woorden and I select new analyst method. These are all the methods supported by Predictor. In this case we're going to use the analyst method as a general method. Opening it. An analyst model has the analyst sidebar as I explained before and now I also want to show the point data sets otherwise you don't see the data sets when I import them. So these are the import options. Let's import a data set from the project itself. So here you see all the models within the predictor project. Let's import the road traffic noise uh, model according to the NMPB 2008 for Wooden because that's already included in the predictor project. Predictor checks what type of calculations are available in the selected model. There are contour points, grids for the day, evening and night period. For the main group, yeah, that's okay. And now automatically the result tree will be created. You see for the day, the evening and the night, road traffic is added. And also the data set is shown as a uh, surrounding polygon. So within this polygon there are calculated values for the day period, evening and night for road traffic. Now I do the same for real traffic. Open the RMR 2012 calculated model for Wooden. Again, predictor checks what type of calculations are available in the model, contour points, grids, day, evening, night, for the main group, yep, that's okay. And they are now automatically added to the result tree. And you see here also the, um, the, uh, the data set for real traffic. Now let's import an external file, a text file. For instance, air traffic noise is calculated uh, with Lima. So I click import data set from text file and I select, for instance, air traffic day. I open this text file, then another dialog pops up, and here you have to specify the field separator. In this case, let me see, no, not a comma. Is it a tab? Yep, it's a tab, pay, tab spaced file. And you have to select the decimal character. It's a comma and not a decimal point. So it's a comma as a decimal value. That's okay. So this is a simple text file with in fact three columns, the X, the Y and the calculated value. Say OK. Then you need to select which column is the X coordinate, which column is the Y coordinate and which column is the calculated value. OK. And then the properties tab pops up for this point data set because it's an item. And here you have to select if it's a noise or air quality, or in this case noise, what type of noise? Well, in this case it's aviation, air traffic, and which period? Well, it's the day period. OK, and then it's also added to the result tree. Aviation, air traffic for the day period. Uh, and for the, yeah, for the day period, because we've just imported only the day period. I'm now doing it again for the night period, air traffic night. And it was a tab separated and it was a comma. OK. Again, the X period, the X column, the Y column and the value column. OK. It's again, it's noise. It's for aviation and it's for the night period. OK. So now it's added. The night period is also added. You see that the data set is larger than the data sets for road and rail. Now I go to the result menu to show the contours and I'm going to select the LDEN method as the accumulation method. OK. And now for the selected data set, Predictor automatically will interpolate all the calculated point results and will uh, 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 create uh, uh, polygons, noise contours out of it. So if you click on the night, you see the accumulated value for road traffic, rail traffic and air traffic. The same goes if you click on the evening and the same if you click on the night. The first time you click in the result tree, you have a small 
time delay because predictor calculates and interpolates the noise contours, etc. And here you see, of course, that there is a strange effect because the road traffic is calculated in this area, and in this area there was no road traffic because the data set stopped at this location. That means that uh, most likely we can best use such a um, data set uh, maybe also as a boundary for our contours, as a clipping boundary. But you can also import a clipping boundary by file, import, shapefile, and now we go to the getting started with predictor because in the data folder there are nice shapefiles you can use as uh, a practice for yourself and I say the center border as a focus area. So I'm going to import center border as a focus area. You see the blue line. Then I need to show my noise contours again. And then everything outside this focus area will be clipped. So here you see the clipped contours. And then if we also don't display the point data sets, and if we are going to open a background map, for instance web map service, in Predictor 2019 there are these web map services added already. These are all web map services available in the Netherlands, and every country has its own public web map services. So it's a good idea to search for public web map services. But this one is very nice. And then, of course, if you show your contours in a transparent mode, then you have an even nicer view. And you see all the contours for the day, the evening, and the night. There's accumulated values and the LDEN value, but also per noise type. Road traffic in the day, real traffic in the day, air traffic in the day, etc. So this is what we've been doing. We imported road traffic and real traffic. That was already a calculated model in the predictor project. And then we imported two text files, for one for the day period for air traffic and one for the night period per, per air traffic. So you can import directly from a predictor model, or you can import an external text file or calculated results in an external shapefile. Thank you for your attention.